Okay, now I've seeded my jalapenos. I'm just gonna slice these in about thirds. And slice the other half into thirds. You don't have to use the whole thing if you don't want to. However much you think that your family will be able to enjoy the spiciness without having it be an overbearing taste. That's how much I would say to use. I'm going to go ahead and use the whole jalapeno. Um, we kind of like our spicy food here. So none of us should have a problem with that. Next thing you want to do is take your cilantro. I like to leave it in the bunch that it came in from the store because that way you don't have to worry about holding it all together while you do this. You're going to twist it up nice and tight at the top. And just chop some of it right off. You want to get mostly the leaves and not the stems for this. Put those in a nice pile. Hold on to them as tightly as you can, which is difficult at this point, seeing as how they're already chopped. And then just get them a little bit smaller. If you want to get them even smaller than that, even you can. Don't get them too small, of course, or you'll just start to make it into a paste on your chopping board. Scoop that up then. Alright, now I'm going to check on my chips again. Okay. Now you see how they're starting to bubble? That's when you want to go ahead and flip them. Even though they don't look like they're quite done per se on the other side, they're still going to feel kind of, kind of soft, kind of flimsy. But that's okay. Not the best tongs to do this with. You see some of them are already starting to brown on the edges. That's perfect. And I'd say it's been about four or five minutes by this point. Again, my oven is at 400 degrees. Alright, stick those back in. The second side never needs to cook for as long as the first side, so make sure that you check on them in about a couple minutes after you flip them over. As for the guacamole now, I'm going to add some garlic powder. I don't usually measure, I just kind of swing it around a couple of times in there, but about a quarter of a teaspoon is what you want to go ahead and use. Then you're going to add some salt. This I will measure because you never want something to be too salty or under salted. Neither one tastes good usually. About a half a teaspoon is all you need to add. If you want to go ahead and put a couple of twists of fresh pepper in there, that works too. If your family doesn't like pepper or you don't have it, you can go ahead and skip that step. Last of all, to prevent oxidation in the guacamole and to give it a bit of zip, I'm just going to cut a lime in half and squeeze that right in. Right. And now it's ready to be stirred up. I'm going to use my masher first. Kind of make sure that all the guacamole is nice and smushed in there. It shouldn't be too difficult. As long as your guacamole is, or as long as your avocados are ripe, you should have no trouble at all with mashing them. It's not like mashing a potato. The masher should just go right through it very smoothly. Out a spoon. Just stir that up. Okay. And when you're done, your guacamole should look like this. It should have a nice color to it. Um, you're going to be able to see the little chunks of onion and pepper and everything else. If you would prefer to have your um, pieces smaller. I know some people don't like chunky guacamole. You can always go ahead and chop all your vegetables very fine and that will give the entire guacamole dip a very smooth, creamy appearance, but you won't have these nice splashes of color in it. By this point our chips should be done or just about done. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take those right out. You notice you only need to salt them once because when you flip them over they'll get salt 
from the other side. You don't want to over salt the chips. There's already salt in the guacamole. And you just don't want them to be too much, um, put too much sodium in it or it takes away from the healthy value of the snack. Okay, so what you're going to do next is take a paper towel. You can just lay the chips right out on top of the paper towel. And let the oil drain from them that way. And while the oil is draining, you can make your um, the rest of your batch of chips. I usually go through the, the entire pound of tortillas and by the time that's done, that makes you out as much as a bag of chips actually would. So there you have it. Guacamole homemade with tortilla chips. I'm Alicia for MasterMom.com. Thanks for watching.